Hello guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alif and I want to say thank you to Zee for sending out this Ruble S gimbal. But I don't want to talk much or do any review on this gimbal because there's just way too many reviews about it. But what I really interested the most and I really want to review is the trans mount system. Not only that, they also sent out the receiver unit as well. So before we dive even more about this two system here, let's play the B-roll. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the B-roll just now. So enough talking, let's talk about the um, transmount system. So the transmount system is basically a transmitter and a receiver for you to watch a live feed view from your camera, on your external monitor, and your smartphone device. And what you will get in the box is basically the transmitter, some cables, cold shoe mounts, the plate, and Allen key. You can buy both transmitter and receiver for 359 US dollar depending on what package you pick. The price will be ranging around $200 all the way up to 500 US dollar. Now the way you mount the transmitter on the WBS gimbal is simply use the plate provided and screw it underneath the WBS gimbal. Once you've done that, you can slide in the transmitter and use the cable provided to connect the transmitter into your camera but they don't provide any HDMI cables so you have to buy it separately. Then you can attach your transmitter into the WBS gimbal again with the cables provided. Then you can switch on your camera and long press 3 seconds on the transmitter to switch it on. Then you can turn on your WBS gimbal but before that you have to change the camera mode in the gimbal into CSS to make sure the whole system works perfectly fine. Now once everything is loaded up, you can launch the ZY app play on your smartphones and connect to the transmitter. Once you connect it to the transmitter, you can basically control the gimbal and watch a live feed view simultaneously on your smartphones. Not only that, the ZY app play also offer a uh, false color, applying light, checking your histogram, checking your color picking, all that good stuff in the app which is, I found that really helpful and intuitive for users. Now I'm going to show you how you can mount the transmitter on your camera. So I'm going to use my top handle uh, rig and mount the plate uh, provided by Zhiyun. And I just simply slide in the transmitter and use the HDMI cable to connect the transmitter to my camera. So once I've done that, I'm going to do the same thing on my monitor where I'm going to mount the plate provided by Zhiyun and slide in the receiver. Then I can use the HDMI cable and connect it to my receiver to my uh, external monitor. Once everything connected, you can uh, switch on both transmitter and receiver. And the only complaint I have for now is the amount of time taken for both transmitter and receiver to connect it and work together is quite long. So I think Zhiyun can fix this with just a simple firmware updates. Now once the transmitter and the receiver are connected and bind together, the signal are pretty solid and the amount of latency is quite minimal and I think it's good enough to do a focus pulling with this wireless system. Now I set up my camera outdoors to see how good the signal is and I actually quite far away from my camera but the signal are still good which is the Zhiyun uh, transmount system are pretty solid. Now I'm going to talk about the cons of the transmount system. Zhiyun said that we can connect with multiple phones. So I tried with my Android smartphones, but I have no luck to see the Wi-Fi signal from the transmitter. Another problem that I'm facing with this uh, ZY app is that sometimes when I try to connect it with my iPhone 7, it just doesn't want to connect. So it's all depend on luck whenever I want to connect with the transmitter. So that's the only cons I see on the transmount system. 
All right, guys, so we are in the end of the video and I want to say thank you very much to all of you who watched till the end of this video. Now, if you like my video, please leave some thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube if you enjoy my content. So see you guys next time.